here. Up the car to bar. There's Kieran in the back. Alright. In the van. Almost there. Ready. We've gotten out of the car, out of the van, and it's starting to rain, which is inevitable. So this is Carter Bar. We're on the border between Scotland and England. So as you see, I'm with Stephen again, the below average wild camper, and I'm Dave, the over the hill wild camper. I have no idea whether you can hear us with all this wind. The can it. <laughs> right. We're all packed up and ready to go. Well, we're on our way. It's very windy. Or at least it's not raining now. A bit boggy underfoot. Well, what can you expect in Scotland? Because we're in Scotland at the minute. There's a very watery sun behind us. So, this is England. No, no. That's Scotland, and that's England. And we're making our way along the border to Hungry Law, and from Hungry Law we go down to Echo Crags. That's Scotland behind us, or behind me. That's Stephen having a wee. And that's England behind me. And that's Scotland all the way up there. And he's next year's Christmas trees, possibly. Loads and loads of Christmas trees. Well, we're nearly there. The light's starting to fade on us now. But I think we'll have enough time to put the uh, tents up before I get the footly dark. We've had a bit of a yump through some pretty bad ground. But uh, we're nearly there. Stephen's gone rushing ahead to pick the best spot. As you can see, it's starting to get a bit dark and gloomy. It's pretty uh, energy sapping when you're walking on very uneven, boggy ground. But we've made it. I nearly made it, anyway. It stayed relatively dry. Um, there was a bit of as we were coming up to Hungry Law, but that stopped. 
But uh, I'll get back to you when we get the tent up. I told you, I told you what he was doing, getting ahead so he could get the best pitch. That's what he was doing. So here we are, Langley Crags. No. Yeah, sorry, Echo Crag. I'm a bit out there, Echo Crag. And it's a lovely setting. And we're going to get the tents up before it comes in proper dark. Very nice. Well, I'm in the tent now. I'm just taking my uh, wet boots and socks off and I'm going to put some clean socks on. But uh, we just about set up, set up, well, we settled, but we haven't got the kettle on yet. But we will get the kettle on in a minute. Um, my feet are absolutely soaking. I think I'll get, uh, what did they call it in the First World War? <laughs> Can't remember what you call it now. Ooh. Trench foot, that's the word I'm looking for, trench foot. <laughs> right, so I've got them off. I'm going to put my good thick trousers on because they're nice and warm. Uh, and then we'll get the kettle on and then think about uh, doing some cooking, which is going to be made even more difficult because Stephen forgot his stove. But never mind, we'll manage. Well, it's quarter to six. We've had a cup of tea, well, a cup of coffee, and some malt loaf. And it's now raining. So we've retired to our tents for half an hour or so and we'll get warm through. Have a listen to the radio movies. And uh, hopefully this little bit of rain will pass over and we'll be able to get out and cook our evening meal. Which has been, uh, which I think we're having beef bourguignon. So it should be nice. Um, so, I'll say bye bye for now. So, it's is extreme cooking with the below average wild camper. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually snowing. And I'm the chief film cameraman, but I'm having a refreshment now. Northern Monk Heathen Hazy IPA 7.2% You need you, it You better believe it <laughs> Oh Dad man oh, Dad man that's not going to stand there It is now Right There's the onions getting cooked There's the bottle of wine and there's right the year. Kieran's took over the film week. Some um, dry herbs. And all it is is rosemary and thyme. There's a bay leaf there. And there's some black pepper as well. So that's it. This Up is there, me. Bay leaf just flew out. Taking a film of a film. Next thing. Lines did move a bit. Stephen's tent. Kieran's tent over there, mine over there, can't see it, there's the kitchen. Well, we've had our meal and it was lovely. There's Kieran on the brew dog. He's the chef. The chef, compliments too, and that's the snow.
This is a proper win winter camp. I think it'll be uh, lovely to see in the morning. We're just about ready for bed. It's five past nine. We've had a lovely meal. We've been standing in the snow, but we don't feel too wet and we don't feel too cold. It's been a really good night. There's Kieran standing over there. Shine a light on them, Stephen. All right. Yeah. And I hope you can see the snow on the camera because it's uh, it's something to behold. Right, to bed. Well, in the tent now. We've had a good night. Plenty of snow. I think the snow's turning to rain now. Um, it's um, quarter to ten, I think. Yes, it is quarter to ten. So it's uh, it's been a good night. I've enjoyed. It. Hopefully, I might uh, get some sleep. But you never know. So we'll see you in the morning. Bye bye. Good morning. Five past seven, it's still dark. I've had a few hours sleep. Wasn't too bad. Um, snow stopped and started to rain before we went to bed. And then I think it stopped raining and it was, then it rained again about five o'clock. But it hasn't been so bad. It hasn't been a bad night. Very warm. Very, very warm. A nice dry morning. Kettle's on for the breakfast. Lovely full moon still out. I'm not sure which way is east for the uh, sunrise, but I think it's maybe behind me now. Uh, behind my. Yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? Yes. It's a nice morning. Right, we all packed up and ready to go. Here's where my tent was. Stephen's tent was over there and Kieran's. And as you can see, leave no trace. What do you say, Stephen? So we're going to head back to the van. It's turned cold now, eh? 
There's we are. First run under the belt for 2023. That's it. Seven, yeah. 71 on Wednesday. 71 on Wednesday. All presents gratefully received. <laughs>